what is going on lovely warriors and farmers of tamaris welcome back to another video today i'm gonna show you guys the rally meta in season one we are gonna see one of the rally metas in action make sure that you subscribe for more content turn on the bell notification and never miss out like the video share it with your friends leave some comments down below The video is going to cover the rally meta in the Call of Dragons. Right now it is Bakshi primary and Emrys secondary. These two marches have the craziest rage skill in the whole game. I'm gonna give you a warning right now. When you see this march, do not try to fight it one versus one. It is not gonna end well for you. When you look at Bakshi, he has a crazy rage skill damage and he has a HP bonus. When you awaken him, he goes all the way up to 15 100 damage factor and then you have Emrys who has like skill damage factor 1500 he has rage regeneration he can boost his attack 30% physical attack this is crazy you have a damage dealt bonus of 10% hero skill damage dealt bonus 15% you guys are gonna see how that is going to melt enemy garrisons so this is the march Season 1 rally meta, if you want to destroy somebody's city, this is it. The rage skill is just crazy. When we hit the talents, here are some of the points that people pick. You pick the boiling blood so that Emrys can benefit from it. Bakshi does the damage, he activates this skill, Emrys comes in and takes it to the next level. You have another rage skill amplification right here. You have another rage skill right here. And then you have this one that gives you 15% rage skill within the first 10 seconds of the march. This would be excellent for destroying cities. But I think if you are destroying a pass, I think this is what you should go with. Let me see. When your legion consists entirely of cavalry units, they gain a shield upon leaving a building. Nope, not this one. You take this one for that damage. And then when you're maxing it out, go all the way to the end and get some good stuff from here your cavalry is gonna be crazy now we're gonna see how the cavalry is gonna rally the enemy passes we have been fighting a war for a very long time right now let me bring out what we're gonna work with today it is right here this is the pass of the god alliance right now it's the ta alliance trying to take this pass now the fight has been going on for days right now and it's time to rally the pass. And here comes the Bakshi primary Emrys secondary. One of the deadliest marches in the game. Right now Ghost is doing the rally. This player has so many good stuff in the game. When you see him, you should be running the other way. Okay, the rally has begun. Just pay attention to the rage skill damage of the Bakshi and the Emrys. Look at that, 9000 rage skill damage. This is insane. You have a garrison made up of... Who? Who do we have? Madeline and Nika. Madeline and Nika is the best garrison combination right now. The only thing that they lack is a rage skill damage from Madeline. Nika has a rage skill and she becomes stronger when the enemy rally is below 50%. Therefore, if you don't want to suffer from the Nika skill damage, you should keep your rally healthy above 50% and Nika will not be able to use her awakening skill. So far so good. The rally is going crazy. Just look at M recent Bakshi inflicting so much damage on the enemy. The report is not gonna look great. Now this is the super server, it is SS1-2, I don't know if I pronounced it correct. The fight has been going on for days. The whole server decided to team up against the TA alliance and their allies. They thought they would push the TA away. But the TA has been in the game for a very long time, they have good account, good technology. And that has come to bite these guys in the behind. Okay, so here we go. Bakshi, Emrys, doing some crazy damage. The pass is gonna get taken. And you know what's gonna happen next? City rallies. 
The good thing is the enemies have a lot of barricades right here. You're also going to see how the barricades are going to be dangerous in the open field. Now this is why I like this game even more than the Rise of Kingdoms. What you get from here is just so much fun. There is so much to do with this game. So much strategy, so much tactics. It is awesome just fighting with all the different troop types. The barricades are excellent. The alliance keeps are excellent. Combine them together, you can pin enemies and make them suffer. G.O.D. The HP is at 50%. The Bakshi is entering yellow. These guys just have to keep it above 50%. That way Nika cannot use her awakening skill. So far so good. Still inflicting some damage. The rage skill of Bakshi and Emrys is doing all the talking. Unfortunately for these guys, they don't have a lot of rage skill. They have to depend on the normal attack damage. Nika also can do some rage skill, but it does not compare to the rage skill of Emrys and Bakshi. And that's what's making these guys here win. Right now, Madeline Nika is the best garrison. Therefore, you have to use them. The rallies are going great. The enemies have seen this thing is not good. Therefore, they are going for the rally. Just taking some hospital bills for no reason. When you hit a rally, you pay the consequences. Is this pass gonna go down? I can see I can see the rally is going below 50. Nika is gonna bring out her awakening skill. These guys need to reinforce. Remove players with low low troop count and put fresh ones, that way you don't get the Nika skill damage. Looks like the pass is going down, man. It is going crazy. Once they enter there, it's gonna be chaotic. So much damage, so much killing. They are going to rally a lot of players, as I'm gonna show you guys in the video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Did you enjoy it? Do you think this game is going to outshine Rise of Kingdoms? Just let me know down below. And just like that, the pass has been taken. Let the war begin. It has been a long few days. Fight to the end. The whole server is trying to take down the TA and their allies. Right now it's TA, TM, TMS. We have GRZ and UEH fighting the other, fighting the other alliances in here. Looks like we have NT45 and GOD trying to defend the pass here. Gonna take them down. I don't really dislike the Union future. I think it's good. It, cannot, it can only give one alliance the chance to fight in a pass, which is awesome. That is good. Now, if there was a Union, all the allies will bring like many behemoths and the fight won't be great. Let's see how this is gonna go down. Just look how they are melting the enemy. The enemy decide to bring the Thunder Rock just to help out. Is that gonna work? Let's see what's gonna happen. The Thunder Rock is just right there. And since there is no union, the Thunder Rock is attacking their own allies. This is good for us. Look at this archer. He is gonna die. He's gonna get killed by this Thunder Rock. They are allies. This is what the removal of the Union Future does. It gives the person owning the pass a good advantage, which is good. I don't know what they're going to do to the Union Future in the future. Let's wait and see what happens. So right now, these guys are going to enter and do a lot of destruction. They are going to rally a lot of cities, kill so many players. And that's pretty much it guys. You're gonna see a lot of Bakshi Emrys rally and you're gonna see how this barricade is gonna help the enemy with those troops returning from the rally. You can watch as much as you can. Leave some comments down below. Let me forward to the past report. Here we go. Here is the past report. Just take a look at all the damage, all the death. The ratio is almost two to one. This is crazy. You don't want to mess with the Bakshi Emrys rally. They just do too much damage.
The fight is still going on. TA has taken the pass. These are some of the players who just hit rallies. They don't care. Look at how many troops they sent to the hospital. I don't know if they're doing this intentionally or if they don't know what's going on, but you don't want to hit a rally. You will pay the price. All heroes here are fully maxed out. However, the Bakshi Emrys came out on top. Ghost has good artifacts as well. Good heroes all upgraded to maximum level, which is great. The fight is still going on. The Thunder Rock is helping the enemy. They are trying to take down the enemy. Let's see, can the enemy recover? Looks like they have been pinned down right now. They don't have a lot to do. This Thunder Rock is doing some damage. Is it gonna succeed? We are gonna find out. Thank you guys for watching. Watch as much as you can. Leave some comments down below. Until then, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out for now.